Hello and welcome back to our Green Scenario tutorial series. In this episode we're looking at the final component uh, of the geometry components and this is this is a tree. Um, it takes points as input so we have uh, five points refer referenced and we can choose between different types of trees so it's either deciduous or evergreen. The size um, controls its uh, height and with the height, the um, diameter of the tree also changes. And we have a radio button that we can define the age of a tree. Is it a newly planted or is it a preserved tree? And depending on their age, their contribution to uh, both you know, the, the costs, but also like the, the benefits that come with the tree would change. And uh, there is also a few important thresholds um, built into different KPIs. So the smaller the tree, uh, the the lower their uh, contribution would be. So uh, pay attention to the biodiversity and green factor score. It increases, um, you know, it jumps between different sizes. So for example, over here, we can see that there is a threshold var value around three. So anything below uh, three meters is treated as a, as a shrub and has a very low contribution. If we go uh, between three and uh, I believe seven and a half here, uh, you will see that the green factor score and biodiversity remain the same. Here, uh, or maybe that's a little bit here, so around, yeah, seven and a half. And then the next threshold value would be around 10 meters. So everything above 10 meters is treated as a medium-sized tree from, for the green factor score and for the biodiversity factor and uh, the green factor uh, we need to go above uh, i believe 15 meters over here yes biodiversity and then we are talking uh, big trees and obviously their co2 uptake and, and how many air pollutants they they remove changes but these values are scaled linearly with the size of the tree so the smaller the size the lower the, their contribution and uh, the higher and the, the greater the size the, the greater the, their contribution you can also see that uh, in terms of investment costs for example if, if we're talking you know planted trees our investment costs are higher preserved uh, are lower and uh, and the, but but operational cost doesn't necessarily change it's uh, or it does change very slightly uh, but it's um, it's very very similar 